In this candy apple tutorial, not only will I show the best candy apple recipe for beginners, but I will also show how to get the perfect super red candy apples, what kind of corn syrup to use to avoid sticky candy apples, discuss if adding your flavoring and gel food color to your candy apple mixture at the beginning or the end is the correct way. I will also show how to avoid translucent candy apples on a difficult color to achieve like red, why it's important to have a candy thermometer to achieve candy apples. I will give my best and honest opinion on same day candy apples. If you are a beginner and are just too afraid to start making your first batch of candy apples, I will tell you why not to be afraid and just start making the best candy apples in town. This is Candy Apple TV with DIY Queen Diva. For the candy apple cleaning method, you will need a pot of water, one cup of lemon juice for 12 or more candy apples. If you are making less than 12 candy apples, use one fourth the cup of lemon juice, two tablespoons of baking soda, and one tablespoon of salt. Bring to a bowl. I prefer to dip my apples with the candy apple sticks already attached. Dip your Granny Smith apple in the candy apple cleaning method for six seconds. Take it out and dry it off with a paper towel. You will continue to wipe your apples down for the next 24 to 48 hours. This is wax on the apples that I am trying to remove. You need to remove the wax off your apples to avoid bubbles on your candy apples. This process requires at least a minimum of 24 hours. And this is why I do not recommend the same day candy apple method because you don't have enough time to properly wipe the apples down within 24 hours to make sure all the sugars have been released from the apples. The sugar causes sap on the apples which will make bubbles on your candy apples if not removed. I have stripped down the wax off all of my Granny Smith apples to make pretty candy apples without bubbles. The best candy apple recipe for beginners for your first 12 candy apples will be 641 candy apple recipe, which is six cups of sugar, four cups of water, and one cup of corn syrup. Today, I am making candy apples with a secret ingredient, which will prevent my candy apples from becoming sticky too fast. It is powdered corn syrup. I substituted one cup of liquid light corn syrup for the one cup of powdered corn syrup. The link to the powdered corn syrup is down below in the description box. I always add my butter vanilla flavoring at the beginning because if I don't, I will forget. But if your flavoring has alcohol in it, you need to read the label to see if it has alcohol in it. You need to put your flavoring in at 280 degrees. I use my gel food coloring both at the beginning and the end. Um, when I have white candy apples, I only add my gel food coloring at the end. Anything else is back and forth between the beginning and the end. There is no wrong way when you add your gel food coloring or flavoring for your candy apples unless your flavoring has alcohol in it, then you need to add your flavoring at 280 degrees. So I always use this Hobby Lobby Super Red and I always add my white because if I don't add white, my red candy apples are translucent. I am not going to tell you anything wrong. Some folks may not use white gel food coloring, but I do. And I love how my candy apples come out. I use, again, for the book, Hobby Lobby's Super Red Gel Food Coloring. Now, as far as your candy thermometer, it is very important to have a candy thermometer because you need to make sure your candy apple mixture reaches 300 degrees, then take your candy off the stove to start dipping your apples. I am using the 641 candy apple recipe and I was only going to make 12 candy apples, but I had some extra apples and I can get up to 24 candy apples using 641 candy apple recipe. 
this is why this is the best candy apple recipe for beginners because when you are dipping your first 12 candy apples you will get your first 12 candy apples dipped without your candy mixture seasoning up or getting thick on you whether you have small medium large or extra large apples you will be able to get 12 candy apples dipped using 641 candy apple recipe um it was something i was going to ask you guys oh so let me know down in the comment section if you use white or not and let me know how your candy apples come out Okay, y'all get the drift. This candy apple mixture makes over 12 candy apples. It makes up to 24 candy apples, although some say they get up to 30. If you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.